What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm here with my brand new QVC food saver. I just got this about a week ago and I wanted to do a quick review on it. This is where I have it. This is where I normally keep it, but I'm going to put it on my island so I could better show you, demonstrate how it works. And like I said guys, I got this from uh, QVC and I know they're always upgrading the model so you know, maybe when you're watching this, it might be an upgraded uh, model um, from this one. This one was about, <clears throat> I think, $129 on FlexPay. Um, I I bought a food saver from QVC about, uh, I'd say about three, four years ago. And um, it didn't break. It didn't, it just, I just needed to help it. Like when I vacuum sealed the bags, I'd have to press on it. Cause I, I use it a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I use this a lot. So I said, ah, then this Amazon guy said, you know what? If you do a, a review, I'll send you one for free. He sent me one and it was dead on arrival. And then he sent me another one and that died in a month. So I said, enough of all that. Let me go back to what I know and what works. So that's the top up there. I just wanted to show you power on and off button. Got this little extra gadget that I'm going to show you. I don't even know what it's called, but yeah. I'm going to show you what that does in a few minutes too. You also can open the top. And this is like a, a vacuum seal roll. And so what it does is you just put it in and you push it out like that. And then I can manually make my own bag. You see? And so I just vacuum seal it here and vacuum seal it here and it's it's done. These sides are already sealed. So I can manually make my own bag. Which is cool. Or you can buy bags that are already um, sealed except for the top. See, this is a small bag. They have gallon bags. This is a smaller bag that I had from my previous um, vacuum sealer. That's what that looks like. And these are, these bags are new to me. These are the new food saver bags with, with this, um, this little hole right here that you can vacuum seal. I'm going to show you how to use that in a few minutes as well. So it's like a Ziploc. I think it's called a Ziploc food saver bag. I didn't have this option with my other one, so this is pretty cool. So anyway, let's let's get to it. So let's say you went to Sam's Club, like I did, and you bought a pack of hot dogs. I think it's yeah, it's 24 hot dogs for I think it was, I don't know, eleven bucks. <clears throat> which is way cheaper than um the, uh, your regular supermarket, Walmart or whomever, right? But you're not gonna eat 24 hot dogs, right? You know if you put this in the Ziploc bag, you got about a week or two before it, it's just gonna start to freeze or burn unless you pack it like crazy, foil it, Ziploc it, sit on it, zip it, all that stuff you'd have to do <clears throat> probably for it to last maybe a month. And, it, and no matter what you do, if it's not vacuum sealing, vacuum seal they'll probably um, get freezer burn after a month well guess what with this with, with vacuum sealing it you can store it in uh, in your freezer for at least eight months I've done it seven months I haven't done it I, I you know I like to eat so nothing's in, in my deep freezer longer than that and I don't buy that much food to be um, you know having so much uh, overstock in my um deep freezer that I, that is just stay stock so yeah i've had it in my uh deep freezer for about six about six months and it tasted fresh it wasn't frozen well let me i can show you better i can tell you all right guys i got six in a small vacuum sealer bag reason why i did six is because i know when i put this in my freezer i'm gonna do six at a time because i know when i'm ready to eat hot dogs not me eating them all by myself 
whether it be me and my son or if I had company, I know I'm going to eat six hot dogs. So I'm not wasting any. I could just unthaw the whole pack <clears throat> and eat it. So anyway, so let's go ahead and vacuum seal it and I'll show you how easy it is. I'm just gonna put it in and it's automatically gonna catch. Well, it should anyway. See? It's that simple, guys. Now I can throw that in my freezer for I guess up to a year. I've done it personally for seven months. Just gonna kick it out. Oh, well, yeah, you didn't see it, but it does. See? See, just showed you one more time and this is what we got BAM now if you're really pimp like you get you some yellow tape and a marker and put today's date on it you know put hot dogs in today's date and put it in your deep freezer so you know exactly how long it's been in there next example Let's just say you had some bacon. We all have bacon in our refrigerator, whether it be turkey bacon or regular bacon. But we don't eat it all the time, well, at least I don't. I'm in the mood for bacon, sometimes I'm in the mood, sometimes I'm not. And unfortunately, when I'm not in the mood, it goes bad. But, if you have a vacuum seal like this, <laughs> you can save it a lot longer than you can if you didn't. All right, guys, so I got in my Ziploc zipper bag. And so what I'm going to do is first, I want to do is seal it. Make sure it's sealed on top. Then I'll pull out this accessory right here. That's attached to the unit. Place it on the hole right there. I don't know how this works, guys, but it does. Then I'm going to hit the accessory button. So what you just saw there is it just sucked up, it sucked out all the air in this bag. So it's just like it is in the store. So now I can, <clears throat> when I'm ready to use it, I reopen it and seal it again. Now I'm not sure, cause again, this is the first time I'm having a um, Ziploc bag. It's the first time I've ever used one and I'm gonna store this in my refrigerator. But I know for sure I can store this in my refrigerator at least for three weeks and it would be good. I don't know how long but we're going to we're going to we're going to uh, try that out because like I said, I don't eat bacon that much. So I'll keep it in there as long as I don't know, maybe a month and see what happens. But I know this will last way longer than you just leaving it in whatever it, it came in that container opened you probably have like a week to eat it or four days. I'll do one last example before I get out of here. This is one that gets me all the time. Cheese and turkey meat. I would say I waste at least a hundred dollars on this every year because you know when I had my other vacuum sealer I didn't want to vacuum seal it to the point where it's like I, well, in other words, I didn't have a Ziploc bag until this vacuum sealer. So I didn't want to vacuum seal it the old way where it's just not a reusable bag. But now that I have a reusable bag, I'm going to vacuum seal these things. And I'm sure I will keep them, if not till they're finished, but if not, certainly a whole lot longer than I normally do. Because cheese usually lasts me in my refrigerator, I don't know, like a week and a a week and a day. And then it gets all hard and crazy. In my refrigerator, I have one of those compartments. I have a Samsung refrigerator, and it has one of those compartments that kind of 
keep stuff fresh in there, sort of, if you put it in that particular uh, compartment. But then again, like I said, that's just like a week or so. But let me show you. All right, guys, so I have them in my Ziploc bag. Now, I normally, I'm not going to do it like this normally. Um, and actually, they do have smaller Ziploc bags. I'm just using what QVC um, sent with the machine. So I'm going to obviously you have to buy some smaller Ziploc bags, but I just want to give you guys some ideas on, you know, what you might want to um, vacuum seal in these Ziploc bags. So let's go ahead and do this. There you have it. I really don't know how it does it, but it sucks the air right on out. This junk is form fitting right here. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I got, guys. This is the one I was talking. This is the food saver I was talking about earlier that I said I got free from um, one of those Amazon sellers, and they gave it to me free, and it was dead on arrival, and they sent me another one that died in a month. Yep, this is the one, and it's going in the trash. I just want to give y'all a heads up on what not to get. Anywho, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. Alright? And catch you on the next one. We out!